welcome back. This is my How to Draw Horse series, and today we're going to be drawing another horse head. So, let's get started. First, you're going to draw the ears, except for this time they're going to be on the other side of your pad. Right here. Draw a small line right here to indicate that that ear is pointing that away instead of straight at the camera. Make sure and tilt this one. And then let's go ahead and draw the neck. It's going to be about to right there. And then make sure to draw the withers, which is the part of the horse that connects the neck to the back. The back is right here. And then just draw lines that indicate a mane. We're going to definitely make that better later. But for right now, let's move on to the head. We're going to move on to the side of the horse's face right here. Draw a line arching down. right here and then kind of make the nostril right there kind of do that and then make the upper lips and a very thin line to indicate the lower lip and make sure it's not too small how I just made it too small There we go. And then do a very thin line. The upper lip and lower lip need to be very close together. And draw the chin. And then draw the line going back to the cheek. And then draw the cheek. Now, all you have to do is connect the head to the rest of the body. First, draw a shoulder. Draw a big circle like that, then right there. Now, a few things you may notice about your drawing is that the neck may be too long. So what you have to do to alter that and make the neck shorter is first erase the shoulder line that you just made. This is what I like to call the gesture drawing or beginning drawing you're going to edit it but this is how it's going to look right now now your withers and the shoulder muscle right here are going to line up so if you're changing the withers then change the shoulder or vice versa so i think an appropriate shoulder would be about right there now attach the neck and see if that looks good you need a very short neck, let me just go ahead and say. So if it's really long, like this one, then make it to where it's about right there. Because the horse is bending his neck this way to look at the camera. So erase a lot. And then make sure that it looks short enough. Because it almost is like that there is some bend so what you're gonna do is you are going to get the neck muscle and then draw a line right there and then if you can make it to where it curves upward and then draw the body right there see that looks a bit better now what you're going to do is erase any lines around the withers. And if you need to, make the withers a little less noticeable. Just a slight bump in the horse's shoulders. Now, this straight line right here, make it a bit curved because the horse is bending 
his or her head to look at you. So make sure it's bent. Erase any lines that look odd or are extra like that. And don't forget to draw the mouth. Make sure it is very, very close along the chin right here. Now, let's draw the other nostril. First, just draw the nostril right there, like that. Gonna get the cheek going. We're gonna draw the rest of the actual bone for this. You would see that bone right there if this horse drawing was a picture. And so that's why we're drawing it. Next, erase any lines that may make the cheek not look as good. If you need to, you can completely redo the cheek. Now, let's go on to the eye. Now, to me, the eye is the most hard part of a horse to draw, at least one of them, because sometimes you can never get that glimmer in the eye, or it's too far that way or that way. In my case, the eye is too far that way, so I'm going to move it. Get it to where it's right up next against that, and also even with this. Nice and small, it doesn't have to be very big. Like that. And if you see right there, make sure, if you can, to draw a leg. If your horse is low enough on your sketch pad that you can't draw a leg, then that's okay. Now, we have done the very basic parts of a horse. Now, we are going to edit a little bit. Also, draw the forelock. I'm going to draw mine more like this. Just to show where it's going to be right now. Next, we're going to do pretty much just like in my first How to Draw Horse video. We're going to do the mane and tail and then edit and then shade and then we'll be done and you'll have a beautiful horse drawing all right let's do the main tail and what i mean by main and tail is the main and forelock so first just erase the main you already have we're gonna move on to the forelock in a minute and just this time, you can color it, since the mane is going to be more down. You can do a few flyaway hairs or spaces in between the mane, each individual mane hair. And then... And then make sure the mane is the same length all the way down the neck. Next, erase the forelock. Now, if you have already done the mane and forelock, then I would suggest skipping through this part since you've already done them. All right. So just color that. All right. Now, it's time to go into a little bit more details, mostly about the eye, since we just left it blank earlier. 
we are going to leave a small part right there. What? Cooler in the rest of it and make sure that that white area is very small. There you go. I'm also going to move this ear over because I do not like the fact that it is that far over that way. Make sure both ears are tilted that way just a tad bit. All right. And then just move that line right there. Edit that as much as you need to. And then put that line right there. And now the actual drawing part is done. Now you have a few options. As with the last drawing, you can leave this horse gray. You can shade over it very lightly and then smudge it like shown in the last video, or you can just do a few of the details. Also, what I would recommend, you can also draw a halter onto your horse. You don't have to use the same color. But make sure it's a little bit darker. Draw a buckle and then kind of just Put it right there, and then a small one right there, and right over here. And then put another buckle right here, because if the horse were wearing a halter, then that would be where the cross ties go if the horse were in cross ties. I'm going to move this down just a little bit because that way the horse doesn't look like he moved his, he shifted the halter that way. And then make a bit of a bend to make it look like the halter is really on the horse instead of just, just like regularly like. Oh, hey, somebody put a halter on, sketched a halter on the horse. There. Now, I am going to edit my halter a little bit because it doesn't have to be that low. It can be a little bit higher up. I'm going to keep mine right there, but I'm going to move this and color it in. There we go. Now, you can. Add a little bit of part that is gray right there. And then you color that in. First you do the chin, which is darker than the actual upper lip. <clears throat> and then just kind of color the whole thing in lightly. But first, it's important to make the pencil strokes first go like this, and then like this. That way it really gives the roundness of the nose body and texture. There we go. And then color the actual nose itself in a lot darker. There we go. Now the inside of the ears just like last time when you scribbled in and then like this and then with the other ear it's gonna be more in the middle all right 
now you can just edit your drawing any way you want to. You can you could draw a blanket on your horse or you could draw a person standing next next to, to the horse about right here. The head would probably go right there and the shoulders. That is an extra challenge if you want it. And then a little bit darker shading below the belly. And now, after probably making this a little bit darker, edges of the cheek a little bit darker. Now you can shade it in any way you need to because you already know how to shade the horse. And then remember these gray smudges? You may not see it on your screen, but they are there. So go ahead and erase any gray smudges or maybe lines that you don't like or just that when you were sketching or coloring in your horse, there was a line that went out like that or something. And then also make sure everything is one line and make sure you like the way the muscle rounds because it's got to look natural. All right, bit of a bend. Make sure it looks really good. Right? And then... Now, you have a second beautiful horse drawing. Again, it may not be a masterpiece, but you will get better. If you want to put a marking on your horse's forehead, then then keep watching. Or if you want to make your horse a paint horse, all you have to do is draw a bunch of white spots and then color in outside the white spots with black or chestnut, like that. You do not have to have a paint horse, or you could do dots for an Appaloosa. There are a lot of different cove varieties, and I would suggest getting on the web, web and searching horse colors so that you can get a very close color to the horse color that you are wanting to make your horse. There you have it. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.